Hello Tesla fans. In this video I want to show how uh, possibly tens and maybe even hundreds of thousands of uh, Teslas may be able to qualify um, for the full or at least partial federal tax rebate after the 200,000 uh, vehicle limit has occurred. So let me show you that. First you have to understand a little bit about um, uh, corporate uh, financial reporting um, and all that is is basically that the year is divided into financial quarters. Uh, there's four of them, Q1, Q2, Q3, and Q4. Um, I have two illustrated right here. Uh, basically just to say that in some financial quarter uh, Tesla will reach 200,000 vehicles. Some quarter or some time. We'll just assume it's this quarter. Um, for this discussion. And then here's what happens. This is uh, the plug-in electric uh, drive vehicle credit um, 30D uh, for IRS purposes. Um, I'll have a link to this document uh, in the video. Anyway, here's what I want to point out. So uh, the phase-out period uh, begins, it's the one-year period beginning with the second calendar quarter after the, after the calendar quarter in which at least 200,000 qualifying vehicles manufactured by that manufacturer have been sold for use in the United States. So let's go back here. So let's say um, Tesla reaches 200,000 vehicles in this quarter. That activates that verbiage that I just read, which said that the second quarter after this occurred. So this is the first quarter after it occurred. And then we move over here to the second quarter after 200,000 vehicles are reached. Okay, so now we're in um, the phase out year. So here we have an entire year, which is four quarters. During that phase out year, so the EVs sold in this quarter will qualify for 50% of the rebate. Same thing for the second quarter. And then for the following two quarters, um, each EV uh, sold qualifies for 25% of the rebate and there are no numerical limits, at least specified in the document, of how many electric vehicles can be sold during this phase-out year, only uh, how much of the rebate they will qualify for. After the phase-out year, no credits. All right, why does this matter? Um, because of this quarter, basically, and a little bit of this quarter, but let's consider this one first. So Tesla reaches 200,000 vehicles, let's say at the end of this quarter, so their limit has been reached, and now they're in what I call the wildcard quarter. This is the first quarter after the limit was reached, and uh, the phase-out year does not start until the next quarter. So basically within this three-month period um, is a period of time where every electric vehicle that is uh, sold in the US will qualify for 100% uh, of the rebate just like before uh, the limit was reached. That is a huge deal. If Tesla sells a hundred thousand cars during this quarter every one of them uh, will qualify for 100% of the federal tax rebate even above 200,000 vehicles. Um, now, so let's say so Tesla, we said that maybe they reached 200,000 vehicles here and then they had maybe a few days left and then they were in wildcard quarter. Well, what if let's back up here Let's say in this quarter they knew they were going to get close to 100, 999,000 vehicles, but it was towards the end of the quarter. Well, what they could do is once they get to that limit, you no sales. You stop selling, and then you sell your 200,000th at the beginning of your limit quarter. This is where you reach the limit. 
So you sell your 200,000 so that you reach the 200,000 uh, limit early in this quarter. Then you have this entire three month period to continue selling vehicles with 100% of the rebate. <clears throat> and you still have the entire three months of the wild card quarter uh, to sell as many vehicles as you can cram in there with 100% of the federal rebate before you get to the phase out year where it's reduced. Um, so what would have to happen is that Tesla would not sell um, any vehicles at the end of this quarter. Maybe maybe they reached it even earlier in the quarter. Um, so you know maybe they go two months or something with no sales in order to maximize the number of um, electric vehicles that um, that they can push out during the during their limit quarter and then their wildcard quarter. Elon Musk actually indirectly referenced this where uh, somebody asks, you know, says that it's unfair that previous Tesla owners get first dibs and all the new customers won't get the $7,500 rebate. And then Elon Musk says our production ramp should enable large numbers of non XNS customers to receive the credit. I think he's talking about this, basically the fact that they will, if they do it correctly, they'll have six months of basically unlimited 100% rebate um, EV sales. And then somebody replied to that and said, uh, are you planning on delivering up to vehicle um, 199,999 and then waiting until the next quarter, two quarters to deliver the rest? And his response was, we always try to maximize customer happiness, even if that means a revenue shortfall in a quarter. What does that mean? That means this, putting off sales um, for part of a quarter so that they can maximize again the number of EVs that they can crank out. I mean, they could be they could store up a hundred thousand uh, Teslas, and then maybe even more, maybe one hundred fifty thousand or something, and crank them out during these two quarters, so that as many uh, U.S. Um, uh, U.S. Uh, buyers can get one hundred percent of the rebate. And even if you get your Tesla during the following phase out year. Uh, you're still getting at least part of the rebate, um, and you know they may up to they may be up to like 500,000 uh, vehicles in a year. That means like an additional 500,000 vehicles could qualify for a partial rebate in the U.S. In addition to these six months of unlimited EV crankout with 100% rebate. Um, so that is how a large, large number of Model Three um, buyers will qualify for either all of the rebate or at least part of it. So I hope that was helpful um, and interesting. If you are a uh, Model 3 um, uh, buyer but you're not a previous Tesla owner, in other words you don't get priority, I hope this is somewhat reassuring that um, you will have a good shot at a 100% uh, rebate. And I also want to give a shout out to um, Google user Semper Wi-Fi 1 who uh, pointed me to this document that spells out how this phase out occurs. And um, I'll leave a link to that um, in the description. And yeah, I hope this was helpful. See you in the next video.